Then the importance of technology transfer in MEAs. I've already talked about this, the issue of the fact that technology is owned by the private sector most of the time and accessing it uh, means that you have to have a way of supporting those who would access. So it's not just a matter of saying that, okay, we'll transfer technology because developing countries have over the year been crying out for new technologies. But they all, all these issues of intellectual property rights have to be taken care of and the issue of who pays for that technology that is being transferred. And uh, the, for the funds, as I tell you, are not in all uh, MEAs. And uh, so there is a climate technology center and network, CTCN, which is uh, hosted by UNEP for, on behalf of the UNFCC um, technology arm. And uh, it assists developing countries to make better informed decisions about mitigation and adaptation technologies. And over 140 technology transfers are underway in 60 countries for sectors ranging from agriculture and energy to industry and transportation. And uh, the other thing is the another good example is the multilateral fund with the Kigali decision. The EU has committed euros two hundred and fifty thousand for as financial contribution to assist developing countries uh, get new technologies that would phase out these HFC alternatives in refrigeration and air conditions. And then you had these uh, joint implementation mechanisms in the form of CDM projects from developed and developing countries that was also helping out. At least I visited two waste uh, to energy projects and I saw that those developments.